Good Sunday afternoon. I read an article actually yesterday and I read it again and I want to share some things with y'all. Basically the goal is and we, we kind of know this but if, if there was any doubt in your mind um, the goal is to replace you. And maybe not, well, I was going to say maybe not you personally, but yeah, I believe that's the goal. The middle class is being disappeared systematically in real time, right before us. And I, I will tell you, and y'all probably figure this out, but I'm, I'm really slow to anger. I really, I'm very slow to anger. It takes a lot. I mean, it really does. Ms. Dahl can tell you, it It takes a good bit to really get me there. But once I'm there, it's bad. And um, I just, I can't get over, I just can't get over the, the depth of this now when you really dig into it. Uh, I've been looking into more details about the depth of what is being provided, the people that are coming in here, let's say against the law. Let's put it that way. You know what I'm talking about. On so many levels, it's deep, y'all. And it's gotta be deliberate. I mean, there's no denying it. When you look at things from, from several different perspectives, credit card, I mean, let's just widen it out a little bit, widen it out. Credit card debt is at an all-time high. Now, many reasons for that. But at the same time that credit card debt is at an all-time high, savings, people that are saving, is at an all-time low. It tells you something. Almost 50% of small businesses and retail in general cannot pay the bills. Unemployment keeps rising for citizens. Employment rises is rising for non-citizens. Let's put it that way. Crime increasing. Now, people are going to say, dog, crime is down. Crime is down. Statistics show crime is down. If you believe that, if you really, do you really believe that? If you really believe that, I have some land to sell you down in the swamps. All right. Taxes out of control. And that's going to get worse next year if something doesn't change in November. You haven't seen nothing yet. They got plans. Got a lot of plans. Under the current administration, it is being reported that 8 million people have crossed illegally. Now, I believe it's more than that. They're just counting the ones who are encountered by Border Patrol. That's not counting the ones who they call getaways who didn't even encounter a Border Patrol. If you count that, can you imagine what that number is? Probably, I don't know, well over 10 million. It's probably more than that. I mean, and, and on it, I mean, really. When they come in, y'all, they get benefits federal, from the federal level, state level, local level, depending on where they go to. These NGOs, non-government agencies or non-government organizations, are pay, getting paid millions to process and help them in, this, in these things, y'all. Not to mention what the cartels are getting, millions and millions, I, billions probably. bringing in crime, traffic, human trafficking, drug trafficking. And that's just the start. They get, the, just to give you a snapshot, benefits, housing, including temporary shelter, food, 
certain cities, New York City, Denver, and others, these uh, what they call sanctuary cities, they're getting debit cards where they get up to $1,000 reloaded on these debit cards monthly. In addition to the food, housing, medical care, legal assistance, clothing, school enrollment, travel, bus tickets, airfare. If they want to go somewhere, they get free one-way bus ticket. Case management services, social services, food stamps. I wonder how many are going to be voting. See where I'm going. How many are going to be voting? What is a legal vote? What, what's the definition of a legal vote? What's the definition? What, what's the time frame? What, what's, when can you vote? How many days can you vote? How long are, the, are they going to stay open? Is it from 7A to 7P, really? I don't think so. In reality, what is it? Taxation without representation? Protect what you have. The object is to be non-replaceable. I don't plan on being replaced. Not until the good Lord calls me home. That's when I'm replaced. Speaking of employment, don't think for a minute that you're replaceable. That you're not. Re don't think for a minute that you're not replaceable. You are. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how many hours you work. You work or work. I don't care what you know, what your knowledge is, what skills you have, you're replaceable. They would replace you tomorrow without blinking an eye and keep right on rolling on, all right? A lot of people don't realize that until they're gone, all right? Believe me, I've lived it. Um, I'm struck by a video, I can't find it anymore, but I watched the video, it was a short video of a guy who had just been let go of his job talking about how many hours he's worked for the last year. He said, I've worked 50 to 60 hours or more every week, every week. I haven't taken my vacation time. I did all that was asked and more. I, did, I took on more work and I was one of the first to be laid off. It cut me with no notice. <clears throat> Just like that. There one day, gone the next day. It was a cautionary tale, like, Take your time off, all of it, every hour that you get. That's what it's there for. I go, dog, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't take, take it anyway, do something else. Read a book, go walk, something, take it. Is it gonna be a change in November? I don't know. Are we even gonna have an opportunity to have a change in November? I don't know. Even if there is a change in November, I don't, I don't know if it helps. Maybe in some aspects. Maybe psychologically, I don't know. Maybe not. So I wouldn't hold my breath for that. You know what I mean? We must pivot, we must adjust, we must roll with it. If you're working, how can you reinvent yourself? How can you adjust? How can you adapt to what is going on? How can you make your own? How can you become your own income? How can you become, uh, uh, invent your, or reinvent yourself? What skills, what labor, what, what uh, ability do you have to create some own income for yourself? To fill in the gaps, to, to, to stay ahead, to keep your, keep your eyes or keep uh, above the water, so to speak. Because, I don't know about y'all, but just a few short years ago, here in our household, we used to be able to pay all the bills and have some left over to save. Save, how about that concept? And now this is saving beyond our 401k, whatever, you know. Now, no, I'm just being honest, no. We're not frivolous spenders either, by a long shot. Not by a long shot at all. <clears throat> I 
I don't know how people are doing it. I really don't. Maybe they're not. A lot of them aren't anymore. They're not. Credit card debt is a all time high. Businesses, a lot of businesses cannot survive. And somebody comes in, not in a legal way, and gets all these things, like the land of the freebies. It's the land of the freebies. I saw an article this morning that said that more and more people than ever, Americans, are moving to Russia because they value the traditional values, especially those raising a young family. I have to say I cannot blame them. I cannot blame them. If I were young and raising a young family, I, I, I no, no, where do you go? You don't put them in these school systems here. Heck no. I don't know. What can we do about it? I've given a few suggestions, but give me your give me your thoughts. I've heard people talk about, well, don't pay taxes. Okay. Okay, I don't like jail, so I'm a guy. I mean, what are you going to do? That doesn't work. I've heard other theories. I've heard people say, well, we need to all coordinate and, and have a day or two where we just don't buy anything. We don't spend money. I'm good with that. Would enough people participate to make a difference? I don't know. I would hope so. I wish so. I would definitely be on board with that. I could do it for more than a day. <laughs> we go most of the week a lot of times without spending a dime. We try to, uh, you know, once a week we try to get what we need and run some errands, but during the week we try not to spend anything. I mean, you know, food and gas, I guess, but I don't know. I'm open. But I'm just trying to look ahead at what's coming down. It doesn't look pretty. <laughs> not, it's not pretty at all. I have a passage that I'm going to share here in a moment, so bear with me. But from multiple angles, this is ugly. It is very ugly. And we haven't seen anything yet. And I don't think I'm exaggerating by saying that. I really don't. I really don't. I said in my video this morning that most people are still oblivious. I totally believe that. It's quite unreal. It really is. I understand there's a segment of the population that's not as affected that can just on a drop of a dime go down to the beach for a week, rent a condo wherever they want to go, buy whatever they vehicle they want to do and do whatever. I understand that. But for the vast majority, I don't think that's the case. I really don't. And when the credit cards are maxed, I'm not sure what they're doing. I mean, are people just filing bankruptcy over and over again? Starting it over? I don't know. I guess that, I don't know how that works. I don't know. Share your thoughts on that. But reading this article and, and really doing some research on the depth of what is being given to these folks while you have countless citizens, homeless, lack of mental health services these days. Homeless veterans. So many people on a fixed income got having to decide between medicine, food, or paying rent, paying a light bill. It's ramping up. Share your thoughts. All right, I'm gonna go to a passage.
If I can find it. It is from Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12 says, Be careful that you do not forget the Lord. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord. Amen. It says, Dear Lord, you are my ultimate home button. May I always remember and long for the vital function of starting my day with you and in your word. Amen. So many distractions in this world and there's so many things going on that it's uh, it's very easy to forget that and uh, and forget that the Creator is the reason that we're here and uh, he's everything and uh, it's easy that you know in the, in the business busyness of the days you know and I think it's important to keep spending that time daily with him in prayer, meditation, giving thanks, praising. It's vital, it's prep number one, as I always say. Let's keep doing our preparations, of course. Let me know what you think. Let's keep our situational awareness top level, top shelf, and stay close to Jesus. God bless you, I'll see you soon.